Hello children. Let's see what is our today's topic. Welcome to the grammar class. Thanks for joining me today. Well, in today's video, we are going to learn about interrogative pronouns. That sounds fun, right? You are going to learn something new. But before we do that, you know what? Let us quickly brisk through our lesson objectives. And the lesson objectives are knowing interrogative pronouns and identifying them. So let's get started. Well, well, here comes my most favorite question and that is what are interrogative pronouns? That is the very first question that you can ask. What are interrogative pronouns? So what about them? What are they? What are their uses? Too many what's, right? <laughs> well, we will answer all the what's later. But for now, a little recap. In my previous video, we have already discussed about pronouns. You already know that pronouns are prose. They are words that replace a noun in a sentence. But today, we are going to learn about a different type of pronoun and that is interrogative pronoun. So, what are interrogative pronouns? Interrogative pronouns are pronouns which are used to make asking questions easy. It's that simple, right? They are simply asked to make your questions easy. So now let us familiarize ourselves with some of the interrogative pronouns. There are just five interrogative pronouns and they are who, which, what, whose and whom. Each one is used to ask a very specific question or indirect question. You'll know for certain that a pronoun is classified as an interrogative when it is used in a unique way because interrogative pronouns are found only in questions and indirect questions. So remember, each one is used to ask a very specific question or indirect question. The five interrogative pronouns are who, which, what, whose and whom. They are very different from the other pronouns that we have spoken about until now. Now that we know what they are, let us find out and see how they work. So, here we go. Okay. Let me give you an example with the interrogative pronoun who. So, here comes the example and it says, Who was driving the car? Who was driving the car? In this sentence, the word who is used to ask a question referring to some people or a person. Who was driving the car? Who was the driver of the car? Who is a pronoun in this sentence? And at the same time, it is used to ask question about a person. So, it is an interrogative pronoun. And remember... Who is used to ask question about people or person? Okay, time for another example using the interrogative pronoun whom. So, your example is Whom did you speak to? Whom did you speak to? Whom in this sentence is also used to ask a question relating to a person. Whom is formal and is not used very often in spoken English. We prefer to use who in spoken English. So, the example says, whom did you speak to? In this sentence, the word whom is a pronoun that is used to ask a question. So, whom is an interrogative pronoun. And remember, whom is used to ask question about people. Okay. So, we have a reminder. I love reminders. They are very handy, you see. So, here's a reminder. And it says, Interrogative pronouns who and whom refer only to people. Don't forget that. 
interrogative pronouns who and whom refer only to people never forget it hey so what about the other interrogative pronouns what which and whose let's take a closer look at each of them one by one so here comes our what the most important question what let's consider the interrogative pronoun what yes it is very common wh word that we use all the time what are you doing what do you want what is your name what 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 well what is used to ask questions about people or objects and our sentence says what is your friend's name what is your friend's name right what in this sentence is a pronoun the pronoun what is used to ask question about a person so what is definitely an interrogative pronoun remember what is used to ask questions about people or objects let us take a look at the following example and it says what is an oak a tree or a plant what is an oak a tree or a plant in this sentence the interrogative pronoun what has been used to ask a question about an object a non living thing an oak tree you see so what is used to ask questions in order to get informations right so always remember what is used to ask question about people or object okay let's have a look at the next interrogative pronoun and what is our sentence say our sentence says which color do you prefer red or blue which color do you prefer red or blue in this sentence the interrogative pronoun which provides us with a choice of color red or blue it asks question to a person in this case maybe a boy or a man giving him a choice of color which is used to ask question about people or object the interrogative pronoun which provides us with choices don't forget that yes that's right they provide us with choices so which is an interrogative pronoun asking questions to people or objects giving choices that's quite simple right okay time for the last interrogative pronoun and what's that now what do we have in a sentence and it says whose is this sweater whose is this sweater so if i ask the question whose is this sweater the answer may be joe's right joe's is a possessive noun so whose is a pronoun and since it is used to ask questions it is an interrogative pronoun well whose is used to ask question about people or object it is used to show possession or ownership it is true the interrogative pronoun whose is used to show possession or ownership let's see what the sentence has to tell us right it says whose is this sweater that's right whose is this sweater in this sentence the interrogative pronoun whose is trying to get information about the owner of the sweater so whose is an interrogative pronoun that shows possession or ownership that's easy right i think it's quite easy to remember interrogative pronouns thank you